Hello, uh, welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to look at a beer from Two Rabbits Brewing Company, and Two Rabbits is located in uh, the uh, small town of Omi Hachiman, and that is uh, located about two thirds of the way up uh, Lake Biwa from, I'm sorry, one third, about one third of the way up, about an hour out of Kyoto Station or so to Omihachiman. And Omihachiman is a, it's a small, uh, kind of a tourist spot. It's a, a town with a lot of uh, canals uh, and along the uh, inside from the lake and you can take, uh, you know, boats and that sort of thing. Um, it was founded by uh, two people, two guys who met at uh, Kyoto University studying for their MBA, uh, one man from Mongolia and the other from Australia. And uh, they talked about you know starting a brewery, and they uh, asked uh, did a computer simulation to find out what's a good location in Japan to build this brewery, and they put in a lot of information, and the computer spat out Omi Hachiman, uh, a source of clean water, uh, transportation hub nearby, uh, uh, close to the freeway, midway to between you know different areas of Japan, uh, a variety of things I guess, and. Uh, so that's where they built their uh, their brewery, and the name Two Rabbits apparently comes from a Japanese uh, proverb uh, that uh, states, "If you chase two rabbits, you will catch none." And uh, they uh, you know, it's kind of a kind of humorous sort of thing. Um, and so uh, I have never been there. I've been to the town of Omihachiman, but uh, I've never been to their their. Uh, uh, brewery, or they have a tap room called the Rabbit House. There used to be Rabbit Hutch, now it's Rabbit House. Uh, in any case, uh, they make quite a few beers. The last time I checked, they had 40-some on, on rate beer and, and over 50 on untapped, uh, so that's probably more by now. And uh, so, uh, you know, they've been quite a successful brewery, um, one of the better breweries in the Kansai region, I think. And the beer we're going to look at today is, it's called this one. Uh, it's called... Uh, uh, Two Rabbits Vienna Lager, and I don't think they've made this style before. Uh, it is an amber lager style, or Vienna, 5% and 24 international bittering units. Uh, rate beer had no ratings when I checked, uh, in fact I had to add it, and uh, uh, untapped there were only two ratings when I checked, and there are probably more now. Uh, 650 yen, where I purchased this, and that would be approximately, uh, I'm guessing around close to $5 US now at this point. Uh, it has quite a collection of malts. Uh, it has pale malt, Munich malt, Vienna, Carapils, Crystal, and chocolate malt. So uh, quite a few. And that last uh, chocolate and it's going to give it, uh, in Munich of course, will give it some darker color. Um, and the hops are Tetnanger and Motueka, which is a, an Australian hop. And the lager, lager yeast is German lager yeast. So should we give this one a go? Again, it's called uh, uh, two rabbits, and they always have some interesting art uh, artwork. And uh, you know, we have a kind of retro theme here with two rabbits piloting in a plane. Are they flying to Vienna? What are they doing? What, what is the plane for? They had one earlier with uh, two rabbits, and what was it? Uh, Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany. No, a Roman holiday, of course. Yeah. It was their Italian Pilsner. Vienna Lager. Hmm. There's got to be a movie reference I'm not getting or something. Uh, and I should know because I used to teach film studies, but anyway, I'm retired now. So, okay, it is a nice dark, dark amber color, a very slight haze, possibly chill haze. Uh, and you might be able to see the carbonation rising there. And about a half a finger of lightly off white head, a bit frothy. Uh, okay, I can smell that nice maltiness right away. So this style should be should be fairly malty, uh, not so seriously hopped. Uh, Twenty four international bittering units. It should have a dry finish, or fairly dry, much drier than say a Meritzen or something like that. So I'm getting a lot of a uh, kind of rich, some caramel perhaps. Very light spiciness in the nose. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, just as pretty much as I expect. Uh, nice light caramelly opening. Bready, 
uh, maybe some crackers, uh, a tiny, tiny touch of spice, not cinnamon, but maybe allspice or something like that, uh, yeah, just in the background. Hopping, hopping is uh, very restrained here. It feels just right on the tongue, and it does finish fairly dry. Yeah, this is very pleasant. Um, yeah, once again, it's called uh, Two Rabbits Vienna Lager from Two Rabbits Brewing Company in Omi Hachiman, uh, uh, just off the shores of uh, Lake Biwa uh, in the central part of Japan. Uh, and many people, uh, people I know, have gone there and uh, said they had a great time at the Rabbit House. And so, if you're in the region, give them a give them a look. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for today. Um, I have my Beer Me shirt, which I just got from uh, uh, my daughter-in-law as a gift, and uh, she knows me well and got me this and a nice cap that I will wear on occasion. But you can see it's still a little cool here, so I've got long sleeves on. And I will wear this one more in the summer, I think. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.